What is up guys? Today we're going to be cracking encrypted office files with Hashcat, John the Ripper, and then we'll also need to install Python too. So the first thing we're going to do is install Python. You can just get the latest version of Python 2. Um, it won't work with Python 3 at the moment, but um, John or the people who make John the Ripper um, are working on making it work with Python 3. So hopefully in the future, uh, you won't have to go through this whole rigmarole of downloading Python 2.7. If you're on Windows, grab the x86-64 MSI installer. Um, you'll download that. That'll get you, that'll get you this. You'll install it, which will make you a folder in your C drive or your your default drive. Um, you can specify where it installs, but default installs here. It'll say Python 27. And this is where we're going to be running our John script, just so that it doesn't use Python 3 if you are um, if you have that installed somewhere else. And then we're going to install John the Ripper. Um, open wall, or you can do the GitHub. Um, I'm going to grab Jumbo John 64 bit. I have 7 zip installed, so I'm going to grab this one. If you don't have 7 zip, go ahead and grab the zip file. It's just a little bit bigger uh, because 7 zip works a little bit better at compressing files. Once you have John the Ripper, go to your um, wherever you extracted it. Um, by default, you just have to choose where you extract the John um, folder. I extract it to my documents folder. Um, and then in run, you will find um, office to John, um, NOP, office to John.py. And that's just a Python library that takes a Microsoft Office file and turns it into a readable hash that Hashcat or John the Ripper can use. Um, this is only for encrypted Excel, Word, or PowerPoint files. Um, this is not for protected files. So encrypted means you cannot open the file at all. Protected means that when you open it, it prompts you for a password to edit or make changes to it. If you guys want, if you guys have protected files, go ahead and click the video that's at the top right of your screen right now. Um, and that one will show you how to get the password for protected Office files, not encrypted. Um, but if you do have the encrypted file, then we're going to go back to our Python 2 folder. We're going to move our Office file over there. Um, I think this one's encrypted. This one is protected. All right, let's make an encrypted Excel file real quick. Blank workbook, encrypted, protect workbook, encrypt with a password. All right, so now now when we open it, OK, so I think the other one was encrypted as well. But it'll look like this. It'll say it's protected, but it's actually encrypted. If it was just protected, you would just you would see the data, but you wouldn't be able to make any changes. <clears throat> so now that we have our encrypted file. We're going to move this to our Python, or you can copy it. And then we're going to open a terminal. And then we're going to python2.exe or python.exe. I renamed it Python2 just to make sure that I'm using the right version. And then office to John, and then your um, Excel or Word or PowerPoint file. Then this will give you 
this big long string. You don't need the file name or this colon. You need everything after it. So go ahead and right click that to copy it. And then you can either use John the Ripper or I'm going to use Hashcat. I'm going to go to my hash.txt. I have an old one in there. Replace that with a new one. Save it. Open this in terminal. And then we're going to do hashcat.exe. And then we're going to do our hash file and then a word list file. If you guys don't have a word list file, a good one for like CTFs and everything um, is rocku.txt. Um, it's pretty short, but it has everything that you would usually need. Um, if you're trying to crack a file that has a like secure password, um, it's going to be more of a brute force attack. And uh, you guys can take a look at one of my other videos to see how to do that. But if you want rock you, you just click the first link. It's the GitHub um, and that will get you rock you. And then we're going to hit enter. And this is going to go through all of the passwords that are in that text file. And it's going to try all of them. Um, again, this is for educational purposes and for files that you have ownership over. Um, maybe you just forgot your Excel sheet password or something, but obviously not for malicious, illegal, or nefarious intent. So once Hashcat finds the password, you get the big log string, and then you get colon, the password. So our password today was subscribe because you guys should all be subscribed to this channel to see all of my new and future content. Um, but yeah, we can now open up this file. I put it in this PC, C, Python 27, book, and we can see the password is subscribe. And now we can see our encrypted data cell. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, get subscribed. Um, if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and watch my how to crack a password protected PDF, or um, you could also watch my how to crack protected Excel files or protected office files. And uh, I'll see you guys all later.